Hello, this is Death Rider, and I have something important to say regarding Cast Chaos quests and Cast Chaos specifically. I, this morning, uh, June 14th, was curious if other people have played Ballad of a Bloodline DX. And I, I do periodically cross-reference, well not cross-reference, just I guess compare my Let's Plays to other Let's Plays. Just, you know, to kind of see, like, am I on track with what they have for items, secrets, whatnot, you know, it's it's just, you know, to give give me an idea of where I am in the quest. And I came across this other YouTuber named Lord Kronos, who did Battle of a Bloodline DX, I think it was like in in May, so probably just a few months ago he finished it. Um, and I noticed that Cast Chaos was actually commenting on his videos. And I looked through some of the comments, and there was one that... I mean, first of all, it was fascinating, because he, he was talking about uh, quest creation back in 2.1 days, and that uh, how, how primitive it was compared to how it is today. And I came across one specific comment where he was talking about kind of... I, I don't want to say his motive, but I guess one of his big inspirations for all of his quests... And how it was, he wanted to create the feeling, he wanted to, he, he played, when he played Link to the Past, he always tried every item on everything, he was experimenting with everything, and it was a good time, and, um, he wanted to bring that into his quests, where you, you, you just, you spend out, you just spend a lot of time trying stuff, just experimenting, and then you get that gratification of, oh my god, I found something with this, I, I wonder if anyone else found that, you know, that kind of, uh, discovery feeling. And then it made me start thinking about my childhood with the games I've played with Zelda, Final Fantasy Dragon. Like, I know Final Fantasy Dragon Quest are different. Uh, Metroid, just, you know, basically just being very curious of everything that you can do. Not being rigid with any any uh, imaginary rules. Um, just trying trying things that you think of, even if it may seem crazy. And it started making it obviously started me thinking about all the complaining I've done throughout all the cast chaos quests that I've played. I've played two of the Narget Nargets. I played Archon's Evil Lair, Crystal Crusades, and I'm currently involved with Battle of a Bloodline DX. Um, I have recorded up to episode 61 as of right now, and I think only like episode 16 or 17 has been uploaded as of today. Um, and I just started to feel really bad. I I did a lot of complaining about one of the things about the the Cast Chaos quests that that he intended for. And honestly, it is a very honorable thing because he's trying to reinstill that feeling of exploration and experimentation and gratification when you find something. And I I almost tried to make like I I tried to make him feel I guess I tried to make him feel bad, or, like, I, I don't know, just the way that I presented my thoughts was in such a, such an aggressive way, and I, it, you almost could think that I was trying to make him feel ashamed of what he has done, but honestly, like, he's a pioneer, and I, I, I see that now, I feel really bad about it, and, like, Argon's Evil Lair, which was one that I am, I, I'm very, very ashamed of now, where I kind of blow up, like, especially at the very end with the boss and how, how, like, janky, like, the mechanics are. But the thing is, back, apparently back when he made that quest, way back in, like, 2.1 days or whenever it was, um, like, the thing that really struck me was the fact that he said that there was no item editor. And as, as an, a quest creator now, or at least an aspiring one, like, just something that, Fair, that fairly simple didn't even exist back then. So the fact that he was able to make the bosses he did, however, maybe not the best uh, in terms of like you know 2019 or 2020 standards, which is really not fair. Um, it's an ama he did an amazing job, both him and tw I think Twilight Knight. I think it was just those two Cascades Twilight Knight. They did a fantastic job and. Um, I've never complained about this, but I do want to say, since I'm recording this video as it is, the stories for their quests are, are amazing. I, I hope I never complain about them. They they are amazing uh, stories, especially now that I know that there are multiple Ballad of Bloodline quests. 
Um, I don't know if I'd play them all back to back with Valve of Bloodline Deluxe, but because um, I like to space it out with other quests, like Valve of Bloodline DX is a really long one. Maybe I'll want to do like a short one or two, and then maybe I could jump back into another Battle of Bloodline. But the purpose of this video was just for me to say, I'm sorry, Chaos Chaos. I I let my impatience and firm grasp on some imaginary conventions, Zelda class conventions, uh, cloud my judgment. Uh, from what like your quests really do to the Zelda community they are they are amazing quests and the worst part of all of this is i have recorded up the episode 61 and you guys will have to experience another like 40 or 50 episodes of me periodic periodically it's not every episode periodically complain about some irrational thing and i just i feel really bad and i will say right now I was planning on recording episode 62. I've been doing like 10 episodes a day before my internship starts. So, and I am releasing this video that day I'm recording it. I will be recording episode 62, and I do want to get a, at maybe up to 70, uh, if there even is that many. I don't know. I, I've i been referencing where I am with other YouTubers, but I have been making sure to keep myself out of the loop of any secrets. Uh, there was one person who told me about one secret that I'm happy he did because apparently it's it's a point of no return thing. Like a, there's, there's something in the final dungeon I need to look out for. And I mean, all that really does is tell me to be even more careful than I am already. Um, but episode 62 and on, I have made this revelation. And from here on out, like not only will I not complain about that kind of stuff, but I don't see how I could because... It made me think about back in my childhood when when I was being very experimental. When I first played the original Zelda, I hadn't played any Zelda games, so I definitely had that that feeling of wonder, like, oh, what happens if I if I bomb the street? Like I I did that, and it's it just makes me feel really ashamed that I let myself like essentially play these quests assuming everything was made by a, a a rule set everything like a rule set that the quest must follow trees must be burned not bombed like and i let logic kind of get in there too like burning a rock like i thought that was ridiculous but honestly it, I, th these are video games we play video games to avoid general logic so i don't know i i don't know i feel i feel really bad and i promise you it won't happen again and if i do i i'm not okay I don't want to promise you guys I won't get frustrated. I will get frustrated. These are video games. Video games, fru video games frustrate people. But I, I want to be painfully clear that my frustration will not be at, at these quests at a fundamental level. Unless, obviously, it is an actual... Uh, no, you know what? I'm not, I'm not giving myself a, an out. I... I will get frustrated at games. I will probably get frustrated today when I'm recording ba more Battle of a Bloodline DX, but I it will no longer be directed at the quests, and I will try my best to not channel that anger in towards... Like, I, I, I know I tend to get angry, but I, I do it in such a way sometimes where I almost start, like, attacking, like, the creator, and honestly, that's only ever really happened with... Cast chaos and again man I, I hope you are hearing this i'm i'm extremely sorry um it will not it will not happen anymore i like i said the worst part of this is now you guys have to watch 40 or 50 episodes where i didn't realize this the one time i actually got ahead of things with these let's plays and i i have 40 garbage videos coming your way and i, I know i know i'm never gonna watch my nargats trail videos because i just won't be able to handle everything that i said especially argon's evil lair I, I'm gonna need to get past that, because it, it I feel really bad. Um, but anyway, yes, I didn't realize that this was ten minutes long. Wow. <laughs> um, I I hope I hope you understand, and like I said, I I really hope Cascas you do see this because I I, your your quests are amazing. Like now looking back on them, they are amazing quests, and. I should only hope to aspire to even 10% of the amazingness of your quest with the quest I'm developing. Because, <laughs> yeah, you you guys are great. You, like, you didn't need to make those quests. You made them because you had a vision, you had a drive, you had ideas. 
and I shouldn't I shouldn't punish you. I shouldn't scrutinize you for actually going out and making them a reality. Y yeah, I hope you can forget everything I said in the past because I sure wish I could. I won't be able to, but I wish I could. But anyway, I should be getting back to um, Battle of the Bloodline. I'll record episode 62 and however many I feel like doing today. Um, yeah, so I, I guess I'll see you in the next episode. I think it's episode 17 releasing today, so I don't know. But yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this little um, revelation, I guess, of of me. And this isn't just going to carry through to Cast Chaos Quest by any means. I'm going to keep this, I'm going to try my best to keep this in mind through all future Let's Plays. I don't want to be someone that complains a lot. I I play these games to have fun, and as such, I want to have fun. And complaining about mechanics all the time is definitely not not fun. So, yes, I'll I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.